There are many more transplants to go. That's because there are currently 50,000 people in this country waiting for a kidney transplant. A historic kidney transplant is off, at least for now. It would have been a first because the two men met on a commercial website. Bob Hickey expected to get a kidney this morning from a living donor from Tennessee, a man he'd found on matchingdonors.com. Some 250 people responded to Hickey's posting. He narrowed his choice down to Robert Smitty. The men spoke to us before the change of plans. Uh, we're so cruel to each other sometimes. Maybe this will help. I'm, I'm going to be walking around with part of, of this man inside of me and uh, part of his family. I'm sorry. So there, there really is no adequate way to, uh, to thank him. Both were preparing for surgery this morning when Presbyterian St. Luke's hospital staff said they could not go through with the surgery. News 4's Mike Hooker is working on this story and we'll have more information later this afternoon. From Colorado's News Channel, this is News 4. He has been suffering from kidney disease for years and has waited years for a transplant. And now, after finding a donor... Bob Hickley and the Good Samaritan willing to part with his own kidney have been told the surgery is on hold. Hello, I'm Stephanie Riggs. And I'm Larry Green. 58-year-old Bob Hickey found a total stranger willing to donate through a commercial website. He is the first person ever to do so. Robert Smitty is the man who is donating, and he's from Tennessee. News 4's Mike Hooker is live in the newsroom. Uh, Mike, one of the surgeons has some questions about performing that surgery. Apparently so, Larry, although the hospital, Presbyterian St. Luke's, has yet to explain what happened. We're still waiting for a statement from the hospital, but I just got done speaking with both men, the kidney donor and the man who needs a kidney to survive, and they say they were in pre-op early this morning, out of their clothes, IVs in their arms, when doctors came in and said the surgery wasn't going to happen today. So Bob Hickey and Rob Smitty left the hospital. They've been together all day wondering what happened. They say the doctors told them they couldn't do the transplant because of objections from a national donor organization, UNOS. But both men say after months of preparations and meetings, it's inexcusable that the operation will be canceled at the very last minute. For, for most of the day, I've, I've just felt like crying. I've been right on the edge of, of tears. Uh, I, I uh, am terribly disappointed. Um, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just shaken to the core. I, I, I expected to wake up this time and have a have a new kidney. Confusion. I'm confused how a health care system could let a man suffer right now. And along, and I don't believe it's just going to affect Bob here. I think it's going to affect more than Bob. I think. Again, Hickey and Smitty do refer to, say the doctors referred to UNOS objections. The national group United Network for Organ Sharings does say it's against the Internet mash it matching process used in this transplant case. It issued this statement, we oppose the program matching donor.com as it exploits vulnerable population and subverts the equitable allocation of organs. A lot of uh, big words there that the hospital is apparently still trying to sort through as we wait for a statement from them. As far as Bob Hickey, he says the hospital has 24 hours to go ahead and make this operation go through or else he is going to plan some legal action because he says he needs this kidney to live. That's the latest on this kidney transplant controversy now. Mike Cooker, News 4. Time of the essence. Thanks, Mike. All right, as you just heard, the recipient and the donor involved in this controversy are irritated that might be an understatement about the hospital's last minute decision from colorado's news channel this is news four tonight hopes are dashed for a man who was hoping to receive a kidney an historic transplant is canceled at the last minute for most of the day i've, I've just felt like crying i've been right on the edge of, of tears that man was to become the first person in the nation to receive a kidney through an internet connection. Tonight, though, that transplant is off. Bob Hickey needs the kidney to live. He found his donor, Rob Smitty of Tennessee, right there on the right side of your screen through a website. News Force Mike Hooker is at Presbyterian St. Luke's Hospital. Mike, that's where the surgery was supposed to have happened. That's right, Jim. Actually, Presbyterian St. Luke's just issued a statement on this in the past few minutes. They do say that the lead transplant surgeon uh, had been out of town, was unaware of how these two men had met, 
and decided that the surgery could not go on this morning as scheduled. A devastating decision for two men, one who planned to donate a kidney, another who needs that kidney, he says, to save his life. It was just an emotional blow. I mean, I was not expecting it. I was totally blindsided by this. Bob Hickey and kidney donor Rob Smitty say they were on their gurneys with IVs in their arms when a doctor broke the bad news. He didn't approach me. He accosted me and said, uh, uh, I never found out about this case till today. And uh, he said, Unos in the hospital won't let me do surgery because of the way you got your donor. Hickey met his donor through a website, a radical departure from using the national organization called UNOS, which traditionally matches donors and recipients. So the two men leave the hospital and spend the day trying to sort out why the transplant didn't happen. They laid the responsibility on UNOS that they have to reevaluate the situation. Uh, it's going to be a couple of days. Uh, uh, before that they could uh, have the surgery. Both men are baffled that seven months of planning and two final meetings with doctors last week unraveled at the last minute. For them to come up at the last minute and say we haven't had enough time to review all the information is absolutely I absurd. I uh, am terribly disappointed. Um, I'm, I'm just... Uh, I'm just shaken to the core. I, I, I expected to wake up this time and have a, have a new kidney. The late afternoon statement from the hospital did support surgeon Egal Cam, the lead surgeon on this, who decided the surgery should not go forth this morning. The hospital apologized to both the donor, uh, prospective donor and recipient, saying we agree to postponement of the surgery until we can review questions about the website and this specific transplant case. As for Bob Hickey, he says he told the hospital if he doesn't get that transplant in 24 hours, he'll take legal action. But he said, I don't want to sue the hospital. I just want to get a new kidney. That's the latest here at Presbyterian St. Luke's. Mike Cooker, News 4. The National Organ Sharing Group against this transplant issued a statement against the Internet Match. It is the United Network for Organ Sharing, or UNOS. The group says it opposes matchingdonor.com as it exploits vulnerable populations and subverts the equitable allocation of organs. From Colorado's News Channel, this is News 4. Bob Hickey went to the hospital for a life-saving surgery this morning. Then, doctors pulled the plug. It was just an emotional blow. I mean, I was not expecting it. I was totally blindsided by this. And tonight, Bob Hickey is wondering if he will ever get that life-saving operation. It was supposed to be an historic kidney transplant. Then, literally, at the last minute, doctors backed out. Bob Hickey was supposed to get a new kidney from Robert Smitty. They were strangers who found each other through a website. News 4's Raj Chauhan is live at Press St. Luke's tonight. Raj, this would have been a first, and then that controversy just bubbled over. Jim, it's really put a spotlight on some tough medical and ethical issues. And for now, at least two patients who thought they were going to make history suddenly find themselves caught in the middle. That's great. Bob Hickey thought he would have a new kidney by now. He and organ donor Rob Smitty were on gurneys with IVs in their arms when an operation seven months in planning came unraveled at the last moment. For most of the day, I've, I've just felt like crying. I've been right on the edge of, of tears. Uh, I, I uh, am terribly disappointed. It was lead transplant surgeon Dr. Egal Cam who pulled the plug on the operation an hour before it was supposed to happen because he had concerns about how Hickey found his organ donor. He got nasty. He just, he just said, well, I'm not going to operate on you today. I just found out about this this morning. The problem for doctors is that Hickey found his kidney on a commercial website. His donor, Rob Smitty of Tennessee, says he offered the kidney as an act of kindness. He says he's getting no money from Hickey except for travel expenses and lost wages. But the United Network for Organ Sharing is opposed to the transplant, saying the website called matchingdonors.com exploits vulnerable populations and subverts equitable allocation of organs for transplantation. Still, these two patients say whatever ethical homework needed to be done by Presbyterian St. Luke's should have been done long before now. Presbyterian St. Luke's should have known. It's their job. They should have known. And Bob Hickey has given Presbyterian St. Luke's an ultimatum. Either perform that organ transplant within 24 hours or face a lawsuit. That's the latest here at the hospital. Raj Chohan, News 4.